channel and thank you for my new one right now. So in today's video, I will be doing a curly hair routine and that's because today is my wash day. So I'm gonna just be showing y'all how I maintain my, I have three A curls and I wash my hair every four days. So I'm gonna show you how I just maintain as much moisture in my hair as possible. And I will be putting like pictures right here or somewhere like of the before and after of my diva cut. I got a diva cut by um, this Persian lady named Shiva. And I honestly, I highly recommend her if you have like curly hair um, and you want just like, you know, a trim or even a whole cut, like she does really good, at least to me. Like she, I feel like she helped me keep as much um, length as possible because I'm not gonna lie, I did show her a um, picture of like what I wanted and I just told her as much hair as you need to cut, just cut it because I know my hair is heat damaged and I know I have a lot of dead ends. But she really worked with me. And one thing that I really loved about the Diva Cut was that it was a dry cut. And what a dry cut is, is basically she's not wetting my whole head when she cuts my hair. My hair is basically dry. And it shows like what parts of your hair is dead. You know, like with your hair wet, when you cut it, you can't really tell what you're cutting because it's all wet, you know? Like, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but I just felt like with the dry cut, you can see what parts needed to be cut off, things like that. I actually finished all my Diva um, Curl products except for two products. And that is the leave-in conditioner and the curl cream activator. And I still use those products to this day because I feel like it lasts because I don't really put a lot of those products in my hair. I just, you know, put like a, probably like more than a pea size, like a little, I don't know, it's like a drop here. I probably put like this much product in my hair almost you know like every day and if it wasn't for the spray bottle my hair would probably always need to get washed you know so i wash my hair every four days growing up it was never really like that i felt like i washed my hair every day because you know when you play sports you're always sweating like me i was always sweating so i just felt like i always needed to wash my hair because it was just dirty. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going in with my um, cleansing cream shampoo from Cantu. And I got these at Walmart. And this is the hydrating cream conditioner from Cantu. I've been using these products for about a month now and I can say they get the job done. Like for a drugstore product, I feel like I really have little to no complaints um the only thing is is just focusing on my scalp when i use the shampoo i'm always using my the tips of my finger i'm never using my nails that's something that i feel like my mom just always told me like never use your nails when you like wash your hair and stuff always use your fingertips and just you know scrub and circular motions and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of scrub a little hard just to try to, you know, get all that buildup or that residual oil that's left in my head. I try to get it as much as possible. And when I shampoo my hair, I'm not focusing on my ends at all because when I rinse my hair, all that product from my scalp is going down to the rest of my hair. So everything is being coated, you know, everything's being washed. It's just when I shampoo, I just try to focus on my scalp as much as possible. And then when I go in with my conditioner, I'm splitting my hair in three sections. And I'm just, you know, putting it all on my ends. I'm not focusing the conditioner nowhere near my scalp. And that's because I don't want the conditioner just sitting on my scalp after I just washed my whole scalp. You know what I mean? But yeah and if it wasn't for this wide tooth comb i feel like my job would be so much harder like right now the only thing that's holding my hair together is this headband <laughs> but that's 
that's basically how I wash my hair. I don't want to show you all how I wash my hair because it won't be in the shower. So I'm just trying to explain it verbally as much as possible so you guys kind of get the understanding of, of how I take care of my curly hair. And my hair has never always been this curly. Like I'm just now understanding my hair, like what products my hair needs, um, how much moisture I need to keep in as much as possible. One thing about Shiva, when I got my hair cut, she really educated me on what I need to use, you know, and what I need to do to maintain my curly hair. Um, she really pushed getting trims. Like, I was supposed to get my trim this month, in the beginning of February, but I haven't went yet, but I will be going because, yeah, I know some of my ends just need to be clipped and... I really trust her with my hair like it's really hard for me to say that sometimes like trusting somebody with my hair but the way she just I don't know it was you have to go through that like diva cut experience to understand like where I'm coming from like she really knows about curly hair and she's been in the curly the diva curl like company for I would say like 10 plus years I believe it was 13 I'm not sure but she's really educated and she really knows my hair I feel like more than I do so that's why I go to her um, I will link her Yelp in the description box below she has a she has her own salon so and it's located in Fremont so I will link that down below thank you Shiva for letting me come on this curly hair journey with you and I will be coming back sorry if the lighting is kind of you know but yeah i will come back to y'all after i wash my hair this is so due for a wash right, i'll see y'all in a minute hey y'all so i just got out the shower and i'm gonna keep this on for just five minutes i just do my face real quick and then right after i do my face i let my my hair out the microfiber towel and i'll show y'all how it looks after Okay, y'all, so this is my hair wet still. And remember I told y'all I take it out five minutes after I do my whole face routine. It's currently 1140 right now. And this is going to probably take five to six hours to dry. So I will come back to you. see these pieces right here? I need a trim. But I'm going to get a trim soon. I'll be back in probably like five to six hours to show y'all my hair fully dry. And I'm not going to put no product in it because I still got some conditioner from when I washed it. All right. Okay, so I just came back home from running some errands. And I feel like the wind outside helped dry my hair out too. Um, the only thing that's in my hair is the conditioner from when I washed it this morning. I didn't put no extra product in it because throughout the days when I spray my hair down and put some leave-in product, it's going to be, it's going to be more, you know, product in there. So I just try not to use as much product on the first day of my wash day. But yeah, this is how it looks. And that's it for my curly hair routine. Thank you for mobbing with me. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on that bell no notification so you get notified every time i post a new video y'all be smooth now